What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this episode of Rest Races with Vic. What I finally have for you guys today is a custom project for no other than three-time NBA Dunk Contest champion, Nate Robinson. What I'm gonna be doing to this shoe is replicating the Crypto Nate foam posit lights that he wore back in the 2009 NBA All-Star Dunk Contest where he won his second title. It's gonna take a lot of work to get this shoe to look like that. We're gonna have to replicate the gradient using green and yellow paint, dye these soles, do some stencil work on the shoe, and of course, show you guys how to apply LED lights to these air units. We got a lot of work guys, so let's get to it. I'm super excited to start this project, but unfortunately we gotta kick things out with the most boring step, which is prep work. If you guys don't take your time acetoning the leather or sanding down the plastic areas, the paint's gonna come completely off when you wear the shoe. So make sure you take your time doing this step. Oh, and by the way, we're doing both shoes this time. All done with the prep work, now let's move on to some exciting stuff. The foam puzzle light kryptonites were inspired by Superman's greatest weakness, kryptonite. Kryptonite glows, so what I went ahead and did on this shoe was apply some green glowing LED lights into the air units. It's pretty sick and super easy to do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the exact process onto this shoe. For this process, you guys, we're gonna need a few different things. A wood burner, a drill, Scissors, a lighter, sharpie, ruler, paper towels, a coin cell holder with a switch, LED lights, a battery cell, and some shrink tube. The very first step to installing LED lights to the shoe is to drill your holes into the air unit. I did this step to off camera to save us some time. The first step you're going to do is measure out the air unit to know exactly where you want to install the lights. Once you're good to go with that, mark your points using a sharpie, then Drill the holes using a drill. You're gonna to wanna to be very careful with that step and not make the holes too big. Otherwise, the lights are just gonna be flopping inside the air unit and you don't want that. Now moving on, we gotta grab our LED lights and slightly bend the wires by the light. Once you did that to all three lights, you're gonna to wanna to stick them inside the holes of the shoe. As you can see, there's a lot of wire hanging out the shoe. We don't need this much wire, so what we're gonna do is cut some of it off because it is gonna be tucked in under the insole and the sock liner, so we want this as neat as possible. Next step you gotta do is to expose the wire using a wood burner. Make sure to do the step on top of a piece of paper towel. Now we're gonna grab our coin cell holder and switch, our shrink tube, simply put it on each wire. Then we're gonna grab the rest of our, our LEDs and simply start twisting them together, red with red, black with black. Now the next step we gotta do is move our shrink tube to cover up the exposed wire. You're gonna wanna grab our rejuvenator lighter and melt the shrink tube. Now we're gonna grab our battery and place it inside the coin cell holder. Lights work really well, they look amazing. Now it's time to go ahead and put these lights inside the shoe. We're gonna pop the little lights inside the holes the coin cell holder and switch are gonna be tucked inside the sock liner. All done installing the LED lights on both of these shoes. Looks so freaking sick. I can't wait till the rest of the customs fully done. As you can see, I covered up the wires using the insoles. These shoes are fully wearable. Let's check out the air units. Clifford, hit the lights. Thanks Clifford. Let's go ahead and turn off these lights and move on to some boring stuff. What we gotta do next is tape off the entire shoe to get it ready for painting. We gotta tape off the soles, tongues, and sock liners. All right guys, finally all taped up, but let's lay down our paint. To create the gradient paint job, we're gonna lay down our green paint first. The colors I used to create this color was Bolt, Opaque Green, Miami, and Opaque Yellow. We're gonna lay it down using my airbrush.
All done laying down the paint on one of the shoes, looks pretty crisp. Now we gotta lay down the yellow paint. For the yellow, we use Volt and Opaque Yellow. Same thing, we're gonna use my airbrush. All right guys, all done laying down the gradient paint job. This was a lot harder than it looked. It took a lot of time to get both shoes to match up perfectly. I think I did a pretty good job. Now moving on with this custom, the next step we gotta do before we do a lot of taping is to take care of these tongues. We're gonna paint the jump mats on both shoes using the exact same green I used on the uppers through my airbrush. Jump mats look great. We're also done laying down the green paint. What we're gonna do next is tape off the entire shoe once again so we can move on to the black paint. All taped up once again. Now the next step we're gonna do, using some opaque black, we're gonna airbrush the entire inside of the shoe. All right guys, all done laying down the black for the sock liners. As you can see, the entire insides are completely black. Off camera, I also went ahead and painted the ankle area, most of the tongue, and these side areas. Looks good. What we gotta move on to next is some more taping. We're gonna tape around both heel tabs so we can lay down the black. All done laying down the black on both shoes. Now let's move on to some stencils. For this shoe, we're gonna be laying down this Nate Robinson Shield stencil. It's gonna go on this side right here. What we gotta do first is weed it out, then place some transfer paper on top of the stencil so we can apply it onto the shoe. Stencils fully laid down, we're all taped up. Let's lay down our green paint. All done laying down the stencils. This looks super crisp. This custom is starting to come together. I still have to touch it up, but we'll do that later in this video. The next step we're gonna move on to are these back tabs. Earlier in this video, I already went ahead and painted on black. What I gotta do next is go over the jump man and air with a high gloss finish using a small angler brush.
These customs are looking really good so far. They're glowing, they're pretty much done. The last couple of steps we gotta do is dye the soles and these pieces right here. Before we can do any of that, we gotta tape off the uppers. Now let's lay down our sole dye. For this step, we're gonna be using some mint green sole dye and an angular brush. We're just gonna go ahead and apply it. For this step, you're gonna wanna be very careful because it can be very messy. All done dyeing the soles on both of these shoes. As you can see, we got them from blue to green. They look freaking sick. That pretty much ties up this whole custom nicely. The very last detail we got applied to both of these shoes, the final touch, these custom Nate Robinson insoles. One of them, you got Nate Robinson jumping over Dwight Howard. And then over here, you got him holding up his trophy. Shout out to my boy D-Nice Customs for hooking me up with these insoles. He does stencil work and insoles and so much more. Check him out on Instagram at D-Nice Customs. Before we check out how beautiful the Kryptonite turned out, I wanna give you guys a quick reminder. Today is the very last day to get free shipping and guaranteed delivery by Christmas using promo code SHIPBYXMAS. Take advantage, you guys. Today is the very last day. Let's go check out the shoes. That's gonna bring us to an end on these custom Nate Robinson Kryptonite Air Jordan 3s. Not gonna lie, this custom came out freaking beautiful. The colors on this shoe is so vibrant all around. I can't wait for Nate Robinson to see this shoe. It feels really good to complete this custom project. It's been a really long time. Let's go ahead and break down exactly what I did to make this shoe happen. Originally, these shoes were entirely white, so a lot of work went into them. The very first step I did was do a lot of prep work on the uppers and plastic areas using sandpaper and acetone cotton balls. The gradient was the hardest part of this custom, mainly because it had to be consistent all around the shoe and it had to match both shoes. After that, we laid down the black on the sock liners, tongues, ankle padding, sides, and back tabs. That took a long time as well because we couldn't get any of that black paint to touch the gradient and possibly ruin it. After that, we moved on to doing some detail work on the tongues by painting the jump and green, dyeing the plastic pieces bolt to match the bottom of the shoe, and we dyed the soles from blue to green. And of course, we hooked up the insides with some custom insoles for my boy D-Nice Customs. And lastly, we gave the shoe some real life kryptonite. This was a super fun project, you guys. Like I said, I can't wait for Nate Robinson to check these shoes out and possibly wear them. He does have a new YouTube series coming out called Chopping It Up with Nate Robinson. These shoes will make a feature on that show, along with some other customs that I'm working on for a couple of other players. Stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy this video, you guys. This is Vic Almighty. I'll see you guys next Monday.